Hi everyone! Continue tayo sa ating lesson sa grade 5 math, quarter 4, module 6, lesson 3. Ngayon is nasa lesson 3 na tayo ng module 6 ng grade 5 math. So ang lesson 3 natin is performing experimental probability and record results by listing. Review lang natin kung ano yung probability. Ang probability is the chance that something will happen. It can be written as a fraction decimal or percent. So mga nagdaang lesson natin, na-discuss na natin itong probability, i-review lang natin siya. And then outcome. Outcome is a possible result of some events occurring. So kung ano yung posibleng resulta, yun ang tinatawag or kung ano yung resulta, yun ang tinatawag nating outcome. Meron din tayong tinatawag na favorable outcomes. Ang favorable outcomes is the outcome that you are looking for in an experiment. So kung ano yung gusto mong maging resulta, yun ang tinatawag nating favorable outcomes. Now, paano natin isolve ang probability? So meron tayo ditong formula. So probability is equal to favorable outcomes divided by the total possible outcomes. This time, you will have an independent practice to concretize your understanding in the concept about performing experimental probability and record result by listing. So, meron tayong example dito. Lorraine puts card with letters of word mathematics into a box. So, what is the probability that the card she pulls out is... Meron tayo ditong 1, 2, 10. So, ano kaya yung probability na ang makuha ni Lorraine is ang number 1, letter M? So, ano yung probability na makakuha siya ng letter M sa kanyang card? Again, ang formula natin sa pagkuha ng probability is equal to probability is equal to favorable outcomes. So, ano yung favorable outcomes natin? For example, sa so number 1 na letter M. Ang favorable outcomes kung ilan yung letter M natin sa mathematics. So, ilan ba yung letter M natin sa mathematics? So, 1, 2, dalawang M. So, ibig sabihin, ang favorable outcomes natin is dalawa. So, dalawa dito sa taas over the total possible outcomes. So, ano yung total possible outcomes? Ang total possible outcomes is kung ilan yung pwedeng makuha mo na letter or kung ilan ang total ng iyong letter lahat dito. So, i-count natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, ibig sabihin, 11 ang ating denominator. So, uh, probability is equal to 2 over 11 or 2 of 11. So, ito na yung sagot natin sa letter M. So, ang sagot natin sa letter M is 2 over 11. Okay, so sa number 2 naman tayo. What is the probability that the card she pulls out is A? So, ano yung formula natin? Probability is equal to favorable outcomes divided by the total possible outcomes. Ano yung favorable outcomes? Kung ano yung gusto mong maging resulta. Ano yung total possible outcomes? Kung ilan lahat yung pwedeng maging resulta. So, dahil letter A yung gusto nating maging resulta, titingnan natin kung ilang letter A meron tayo. So, meron tayong 1, 2. So, ibig sabihin, 2 over... Ilan yung favorable uh, possible outcomes natin? 11. So, ang sagot natin is 2 over 11 or 2 of 11. So, pareho lang sila ni M. And then sa number 3, letter T. So, si letter T is, ilan si letter T? 1, 2. So, 2 din. And then, ang total possible outcomes, still 11. So, 2 over 11 or 2 of 11. Number 4. What is the probability that the card she pulls out is H? So, i-count natin kung ilang H meron tayo. 1. So, 1 over 11 or 1 of 11. Number 5, si E. Ilan E meron tayo? 1 then. So, ibig sabihin 1 over 11. Si I. So, ilang I meron tayo sa mathematics? Isa. So, that is 1 over 11. Sa so, letter C. Isa din. So, ibig sabihin, 1 over 11. Si S, isa lang. So, still 1 over 11. Now, what is the probability that the card she pulls out is a vowel? So, i-count natin kung ilan ang ating vowel. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. So, ibig sabihin, 4 na vowels, 4 over 11 or 4 of 11. Number 10, what is the probability that the card she pulls out is a consonant? So, ilan yung consonant natin? I-count natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, ibig sabihin, 
7 over 11 or 7 of 11. Another example tayo para maintindihan pa natin. In a bag, there are 10 cubes numbered 1 to 10. I will pick a cube from the bag. What is the probability of me picking a cube with number 1? Number 5. So, ano yung probability na makakuha siya ng number 5 sa kanyang bag? Kung saan merong 10 cubes at kada cube is merong number na 1 to 10. So, ilan ba yung number 5 sa number 1 to 10? Isa lang. So, ibig sabihin, ang sagot natin dito is 1 over, ilan ang total possible outcomes natin? 10. Kasi 1 to 10. So, that is 1 over 10 or 1 of 10. Sa so number 2 naman, ano ang probability na makakuha siya ng 9? Ilan yung 9 natin sa numbers 1 to 10? Isa. And then, ilan yung total possible outcomes? 10. So, 1 over 10 or 1 of 10. Sa so number 3, number less than 6. So, ilan kaya yung number na mas maliit kaysa sa 6? So, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ibig sabihin 5. So, that is 5 over 10. Or, i-reduce natin siya into lowest term. So, i-divide natin sila pareho sa 5. So, 5 divided by 5 equals 1. And 10 divided by 5 equals 2. So, ibig sabihin, number less than 6 is 1 half ang kanyang probability or 1 of 2. Number 4, an odd number. So, ano yung probability na makakuha tayo ng odd number? So, sa numbers 1 to 10, ilan ba yung odd number natin? 5. So, that is 1, 3, 5, 7, at 9. So, 5. So, ibig sabihin, 5 over 10 or still 1 half. And then, number 5, an even number. So, ilan yung even number sa 1 to 10? 5 din. So, that is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, 5. So, 5 over 10 or still 1 half or 1 of 2. So, number 6, number more than 3. So, ilan kaya yung number na mas mataas kaysa sa 3? Count natin. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 7. So, ibig sabihin, ang sagot natin dito is 7 ang possible, ang favorable outcomes divided by the total possible outcomes na 10. So, 7 over 10 or 7 of 10. Number 7, number less than 10. Ilan ba yung number na mas maliit kaysa sa 10? Of course, 9. Kasi 9 pa baba is less than 10. So, ibig sabihin, 9 over 10 or 9 of 10. Number 8, number more than 5. So, ano yung mga number na more than 5 or mas malaki sa 5? So, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 5. So, that is 5 over 10 or i-divide again natin ng 5. So, that is 1 half or 1 of 2. And then lastly, number 9, number 15. So, ano yung probability na makakuha siya ng 15 sa kanyang bag? Zero. Bakit zero? Dahil walang number 15 sa kanyang bag. Ang numbers lang is 1 to 10. So, zero over 10 or none. That's all for today's video, guys. See you in our next lesson. Bye!